Welcome to our Gemini to your beginning of the month of May reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you in the beginning of May. The Astro Dice reading is out already, so it is in your playlist. Anything you're missing is in the playlist. I also made a new list for the manifestation videos. I've got two in there, I think, two or three. Um, I will try to get the rest of them in ASAP. Um, they are going from August when I first started down, so from the, the latest to the newest, okay? But there won't be that many, so it won't be that hard to shuffle through, okay? Okay, guys, let's see what's going on. Best message coming out for May, please. Passions Ignited. Wow. Love the Passions Ignited card. This is the same as the Ace of Wands. So, hey, something is definitely going to be getting your attention in the beginning of the month, keeping your passions ignited. Maybe you already know what that is. Maybe you're saying, this is where I'm going, and this is what I am definitely going to try to achieve at this time, right? So this could be in creative endeavors, bringing in extra enthusiasm, positive energy, renewed spiritual strength. Um, it's a powerful time for force of your spirit that is flowing through you as well. So let's not forget that, right? But this is definitely that new beginning with ideas and revelations and could be also exciting new adventures. You guys might be traveling or getting ready to travel or do something awesome, like maybe you're going to concerts or you're going to go on a cruise. Who knows what you're doing, right? Okay, so next card coming out is communication. So it does feel like there is going to start out with a big bang of communication. But it also, because of that, that throw shocker, remember I said a lot of creative ideas are coming through. So you might even be um, just on a creative flow, or maybe you're even speaking of these creative ideas, these new ideas of let's go traveling, let's do this, let's do that. And it could be with your partner, whether it's your friend, romantic, a friend, a family member, it could be anybody, right? Because it's under partnerships and alliances. So, and definitely there's that fun. So for a lot of you, this beginning of the month is going to start out with a big bang of fun um, and wanting that social, that social um, interaction, right? A lot of communication with a partner, having a lot of fun and joy. So let's see what's going on there. Let's just grab a couple cards over there first. This message is coming out. Yeah, look at that. Okay, new ideas. Like I said, there's a lot of new ideas going out as a page of swords over here. So there is something that you are acknowledging, something that you might even be um, trying to seek more information on. Maybe through this partner, like I said, or maybe you're telling them about this situation. The partnership and alliances is showing this beautiful um, having trust within yourself and trusting this person as well. Maybe you're trusting them with a secret. Maybe you have, you're have you manifesting something and you're going to ask them to can you keep a secret. You know, I'm trying to manifest something, but I don't want people to know, um, you know, all of my secrets. So you might even be tr trusting someone with a secret. It could definitely be an, an aqua Pisces. A cusp or it could be in a Libra, a Gemini, or a Pisces. Ooh, look at that. Here comes Gemini again as well with that Queen of Swords. So it does talk about, you know what, maybe we're keeping this, this um, cruise, this travel a secret, this new idea, this new job opportunity a secret. I don't know. It just feels like you're trying to keep a secret or maybe you're just keeping it hidden from some, or maybe you're keeping it hidden from someone. I don't want you to know what I'm doing. Either I'm entrusting you with this secret or I'm hiding it from you. <laughs> One way or the other, right? So let's get a couple of these cards over here. Clarify on this situation. I'm going to do this one different from a lot of the other ones. Always trying something new. Ooh, you can overcome anything. So it says that there could be also something that you're trying to overcome some kind of um, circumstance at the beginning of the month as well. So right? So however it is, it says that you can overcome whatever obstacle is standing in the way at this time, the beginning of the month. 
so that you can enjoy, enjoy the journey. For instance, it's time to enjoy the journey. Don't worry about that obstacles. Go ahead and hold that course. I'm telling you, you're focusing on something. You're doing something. You're doing something. Whether you're either keeping it hidden to yourself or you are communicating something you're keeping hidden from someone else, from the world, and entrusting them to hold this secret, you are definitely doing something where you're staying focused on what it is you truly want in this new journey, this new adventure, this, you know, whatever you're doing. Definitely getting ready for new horizons. So definitely something big is happening over here within your energy. And you know, it's crazy, you know, but going to a concert and doing things like that is a part of the energy and it is something big, especially if you haven't, if you don't go out and do a lot of things, right? If you're always working, always working, then, you know, going on vacations, going on small little ventures is a big deal. And it does change the energy and it does change the cycle of your life, right? If you're used to doing those things all the time, because let's say you're in a band and we're always at concerts, right? Then maybe you're doing something different or maybe you're playing a bigger venue, right? Instead of this little hideaway bar, maybe you're telling someone, you know what? We're going to play this big stadium. We're going to play this high school football field, you know, in town or something. See what I mean? Something big is happening, um, which... Definitely, like I said, changes the course of things. It could even change the course of your career, doing something bigger like that, right? Especially if you're in a band or something. Right? And getting out of that small little nightclub, doing some kind of a bigger event. Your name's going to get out there, so you're definitely going to shift, right? Okay, guys, so let's see. And, of course, that's not going to be for many of you. It's just an example so please just throw that away, but you know what I'm trying to say, you know, when you're doing something. It's different. It changes the mood and your energy as well. You have the, for some of you, you may have a new love that's coming in. You may be getting over an obstacle and a challenge, maybe of an ex or something that's going on around you. You may be entrusting a friend with a, your heart's new desire, passions ignited. And maybe you guys are getting ready to go out on a date and you're talking to your friend. Um... Please keep it hush-hush, right? We don't want the whole world to know just now and just yet. Uh, but it is definitely something that has to do with... A lot of you are traveling. You're doing something. Something exciting is going on here. Um, because this is another travel card. But whatever it is, it's definitely talking about... You know, maybe you're even changing jobs and you're finding new financial independence because we do see a lot of pinnacles over here. So maybe you are, you know, changing your job, changing your status, changing your career. You know, maybe you're going from, you know, maybe you've been in college and you just got that new nursing job and you're going from waitress to nurse because it is saying I'm staying career focused at this time as well as you are becoming the king of wands. So, and there's that overcoming challenges. That's the same exact card. See, so it says, whatever you're doing, you're getting ready for new horizons as you're overcoming this challenge, this obstacle. So whatever you feel is you're being challenged with, you're definitely getting over that in the very beginning of the month. This is something that you are going to stay strong from. You're going to become the leader and take, um, there's going to be a lot of action taken, of course, and a lot of impulsive action with fire over here. But this is definitely saying that things are changing around me. I've put my good foot forward and I'm making sure that whatever obstacle I was having, I'm now getting to where I need to be. And this, I'm bringing this obstacle to a closure. This will no longer bug us anymore. So very beautiful reading, guys. It looks like the beginning of the month is going to be, for some of you, a lot of travel, a lot of new adventures, new love, perhaps. And closing down a rough cycle for yourself, something that you have been struggling to get out of, is now going away. Yes, the past is gone. The strings are being broken. The strings are, are, are being cut. There's no more of that challenge. That challenge is done. So the past is over, okay? And like I said, the past is over, the obstacle's over, and now it's time to go have some joy, have some fun, act like a teenager if that's what's needed, right? If you're going to a concert and, you know, it's like, woo, you know? This will bring back that reminiscing of going out and doing something nostalgic and bringing back some good memories instead of being, pat, you know, stuck in this past or stuck in this rut where it's just like, 
oh my gosh, this obstacle will not die. Um, so whatever it is you're putting on, you are changing this card right side up. Okay, so if you felt like you were with somebody who was greedy, who didn't want to share, um, you know, you felt like the world was against me and I can't seem to get my foot up. Now you have your foot up. Universe is sharing with you and balancing everything out with you. Great abundance is coming and there could be a gift that's on its way as it's presenting itself. And that's what it feels like. It feels like this gift that's going on, just getting over that obstacle for you could feel like it's the gift that you've been waiting for, right? Um, so definitely a gift is presenting itself for you in the beginning of the month. Do you have a lot of gifts for certain signs? So that really doesn't surprise me um, to see that. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Venus is just really being, she's just being very generous. <laughs> she's being very generous right now. She's like, you want love? Here's some love. Oh, you want something pretty? Here's something pretty. Oh, you want to go do something awesome? Here, go do something awesome. Right? Give back. I love it. So it's time for you to give back. And I feel like when it says this, it's time to give back to yourself. Because I feel like you have been in it. But I do feel like you've been stuck in the mud in it. But I also feel like you were in it to win it, though. You know, just really. Um, you know what I feel like, guys? I feel like you guys have been quicksand. It's not just I stuck my foot in the mud. I mean, I've been drowning in quicksand and I've been fighting my way through this quicksand no matter how little it is right or how big it is um but now spirit says it's time for you to give back to yourself and get back to that happy place where you were in the past start feeling it really start feeling it and yeah i do feel like you're gonna you, you know bring somebody with you and go out and have some fun maybe this is a thelma and louise moment where you and your you and your bestie over here are just going to go out and you're going to terrorize the town. <laughs> okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.